and welcome to Pekino Stalemate. Yes, sir. We got ourselves a little match on our hands today. Well, yep, once more. We have Double D playing as the um, the deck. And this thing here says, my nationality is Japanese for the time being. Or something like that. Ah... Uh, and he is up against Fortune, playing against... Well, well, yeah. He is up against Fortune, who has selected Airborne. And he's got Pathfinders. Huh. Interesting. So, uh, yeah, no pick here from uh, Double D. Not yet. Hmm. Uh, let's see barbed wire everything is just peaceful quiet both of his strategic points have been secured that's an extra 16 manpower income or fortune though note if you just get say this point followed by the fuel then you actually don't need this point here if you want this munitions point to be connected yeah, the cutoffs on this map are a, are a little weird. Uh, but at least not as punishing as on Toronto coastline. They'd be very punishing. My goodness, four Pathfinder squads. And now an engineer. Well, okay. I guess we're gonna see uh, paratroopers at one point for fortune. As his uh, mainline infantry. Or is he really gonna stick with Pathfinders as the mainline infantry here? Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Meanwhile, Double D, is he gonna go for a 250 half track here? I've seen people go double grins, Ratchets, then into a 250. Uh, he's ticking up now. That's not a lot of capping power for... Or Double D, with the exception of him having the crotchets and very fast capping. But then again, so are the Pathfinders. All the Pathfinders here. And where is he going? Really playing the cutoffs hard. Diving into enemy territory, looking for the cutoff. Then he'll scoot over here, I guess. And these Pathfinders are not looking to intercept the the, um, the crotchets. And, and this thing here is... Just about halfway done. But there we go. Cut off. Moving on to the next point. Oh, the engineers, they, they're gonna get in the circle, prevent the cutoff from happening. Yeah. And that's the weirdness of these cutoffs. Because despite him taking one of the cutoff points, he, nothing is cut off because he has this fuel here. So this other fuel here still remains within supply. And as I were expecting a 250 to come in, he's now getting the combat half-track upgrades, despite having no vehicles that can benefit from it. But here we are. Yeah, okay. So, um, yeah, that's going to be his next purchase, I'd imagine. And there we are. This thing has been repaired. Flamethrower risk losing the engineers. Yeah. That's paratroopers. Yep, paratroopers inbound. <laughs> and now the crutches and kids in here. But the other point has already been recaptured. Poor Cratchits, and his his work is never done. A strategic point is being taken from us. Give us orders. Yeah, paratroopers not wanting anything to do with that heavy machine gun. Now the carbines open up fire, and a medic truck. Now what? Why? Why did he go for the half track upgrade if he's? Not gonna immediately put out a 250. Why did he go for it anyway? A capture point is being taken from us. Because it only benefits half tracks. Here. Not crotchets and not trucks. 
the barracks. What? What does he want from a barracks? A mortar to deal with one heavy machine gun? I don't get it. But nevertheless, could be interesting. Could be very interesting. Could be a dead crack, you see. Yep. Yep, this same 1919 A6. Good for Scratch. Our point is being neutralized by the enemy. If I'm not mistaken, he could just have skipped the barracks and gone straight for the motor pool now that he had this thing up. But then again, it's so rare that i see people skipping uh barracks early on do you really need one of the first buildings i just thought you needed a port center in order to get this thing up and there we are now there's the 250 on the field as he calls in the panzer jaegers that could have been his plan all along and boy, he had prep time getting in that upgrade. Walk along the bush edge. <laughs> that burst got him. Oh no. That was the OG scout squad that just died there. I could tell it because now that icon is missing down here. Yeah. Our victory point is being neutralized by the enemy. What a shame. Recognize company, all right. Eight rats. Another paratrooper squad inbound, I guess, to replace what was lost. Yes, it is. Look out below. Oh, hey. Hello. Keep chasing it. Okay, there we are. And now go for the fuel. The fuel point is being taken from us. But as we see, Double D, he is also stealing fortunes. Fuel. Lob a grenade in there, get him out. No, yo, there we are. No, that's a satchel charge. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Luckily, they managed to escape the blast radius and that's that stone church there sturdy building still stands most of it some of it yeah spending a, a little bit of munitions on that satchel charge i also want to see the paratroopers get some um, heavy hardware in their hands well, there we are. Speaking of hardware, flamethrower. And the Greyhound is also on, on its way. Can easily deal with this thing here. And can also help deal with the A-Grad. Still no pick from uh, Double D. Raise for impact. What? Smoke. Okay. There we are. Fuel has been decaptured. Anti-security zone fuel once more. Double D. There we go. The eight rat is ready for being totally tubular and rad. Flamethrower nearby? No? It's not? Well then, good. Then the Panzer can just stay inside the, this little garrison here and shoot it out with the Americans. And double planes. Ooh, what is Santa bringing? <laughs> Who knows? Poof. There we go. 
And as you can see here, that little uh, kick cannon doesn't really do an awful lot of damage to the uh, to the Greyhound. Veterans Gunners, more penetration. Could have used that before. He's going in deep here. The 8 rad is anti-infantry. Not so much anti-vehicle, but with a bit of persistence, the Greyhound goes down. And with all this munitions picked up here, surely the paratroopers are gonna get something in their hands. Right? No? What's he gonna do with uh, this munitions here? Come on. I'm gonna see some weapons on him. Ah, there we go. Stove pipes for one of the squads. Oh, get out of the building. This is Captain Mortar. Yeah, goodbye, church. As the roof collapses. The men made it outside and hello! Flammenpanzer 3! It is quite cheap, fuel-wise. So now he's got both an 8 rad and a Panzer free to help him deal with infantry. Yeah, he has the Panzer Jaegers along with the 8 rad. That can help him deal. Oh no, that's a chaffy. Ooh, yeah, that thing packs a bigger punch than the little, little, uh, little greyhound. Oh, this is a little risky. Focusing on this thing now. So it appeared so. No? Ah, yes. Flammen Panzer. Such a delightful vehicle. If you can uh, find an opportunity to squeeze it into your build. We have vehicles available in reserve. What do you need? Yep, extra um, extra HP, smoke installed. Just in time for the Jaffe to enter the battlefield. And there we go. We need the Panzerjägers up here. Okay, he calls in the new Panzerjäger squad. They're driving in their path track in no snare. Okay, there we go. This could be a dead Chaffee. Uh, let's see if the pathing here. No, the Chaffee's gotta get away. Sadly, though, Double D, he didn't manage to get off a snare onto the Chaffee. If he did, it would have been a dead Chaffee, I believe. Oh, well. Oh, well. Hey, more tools for the paratroopers. LMGs. So, with no snare being used there, were he saving up for the 100 munitions to get an LMG on one of his squads? Maybe? One, two dead. Engine damage. He made it! So did the, did the half track. A little bit of smoke in case anyone keeps driving, driving by. Let's see if the other Pathfinder squad will make it back to base. Yeah, they did. There we go, new Greyhound. The engine's stuck in first gear or reverse. The other gears, they busted. An extra man coming up. Uh oh. Uh, I see no Panzerjägers nearby. There they are. They're coming in. A little bit of smoke. The snare. There's the snare. Miss from the chassis. Eight rats survives. Oh, the M8. Greyhound joining the fray. 
This is the only thing keeping his armor safe at the moment. Oh, there we are. There we are. There. Just a rifle shot, not a Panzer Buchse shot. <laughs> Where are you going? We're losing grasp of a capture point. Oh, there he is. I was looking. Where and why would he be calling artillery here? And what did he see? <laughs> okay. Panzer. What? New Panzer Grenadiers? Yeah. Okay, that's, a, that's an odd pick, and he's giving them the LMG upgrade, you know, the green ones. I would have preferred to put the uh, heavy weaponry on the more experienced uh, crew, you know, or a bigger, much bigger impact. On the other hand, this thing here will help them. Cheap veterans, if faster, but yo, we're not here to promote ourselves, we're here to defeat the enemy. Victory point lost. Oh, don't mind me, continue laying down your mines. <laughs> Did he just try to block it off with sandbags, or were that just a simple click mistake? as the uh, paratroopers are getting annihilated. Well, they'll be annihilated a different day. Yeah, all this hotness here, the Greyhound just shrugs it off. Why is he? Come on! True shock. Oh, a little grenade or something. No, that damage was more than a, something else than a grenade. I've never seen a, a snare do that little damage. And if he's gonna lose this puzzle that I hear, then it's his own fault. I mean, there, he kept it around for so long without having any AT to support it. Well, okay, he has a Jaeger squad over there, but yeah. Uh, oh, there we are. Another squad shows itself. But I feel like uh, the Panther Freeze death could have been avoided and yeah, he's got to get a Greyhound in return, but not worth it. And that's a bombing run and goodbye, a Brad. You did. <laughs> a chance to take the hit to beat too. Oh, is he going to get this champion too? Yes, sir. Schatzschütze. Full treffer. And now go for gold. Yes. Pew pew. Any. Nope. No hope for that thing. Oh, goes the weasel. So, uh, yeah, both players just lost their armor. Beside a little 250 here. <laughs> anyway, fortune. Tank depot. Radio. Panzer command me. And is that an 80 gun that's getting dropped here? No. Panzer fear command tank. All right. Yep. 80 gun has been dropped. Just in time to help deal with the uh, Panzer fear command tank. And yeah, that's wrecked. 
Yeah, strike. Uh, smoke. Yep, smoke. No worries. Let's just smoke. The neighborhood looks a bit different today. Much more open ground. And with the Americans kicked out of the town square, we are losing grasp of a victory point. It's patched up. Double D is gonna secure himself the VP here. What's Enemy this? Forces have captured Support a armor point. elements. Stooks? Stooks. Okay. Stooks. Or the other thing that you can get from that thing. Huh. Ah, yes, the recovery vehicle. Right. The recovery is 8 red if you build the recovery vehicle. And his Panzer 3 that. No. Panzer 3 has been wrecked. Wrecked. The wreck has been wrecked. 8 red, though, is still available. What? Paratroopers with the stovepipe? Yeah, they did. They did. Looks like they can't pick it up. Ugh. Could you imagine if the AT gun crew could pick up the Sukas? <laughs> Give them some good protection. Regular Sherman. Okay. <laughs> little buddy you you may just die here if the uh, one shots connect uh... nope fine kick w cannon installed let's ride once more so yeah if this thing here can get up to vet free it can have 480 hp that's quite a lot. A victory point is being taken Same from as us. Jeffy. We have lost control over victory point. Wow, Fortune, he needs to turn this around quickly. And he may just do so. I hope. For his sake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, with the Sherman here, he should be able to push back Double D. But then again, Double D, he's got that tear gas. Oh, miss from the AT gun. There we go. Sherman has been vented. Tear gas has been cleared out. Over here has secured this point again. Sook's picked up by the Pathfinders. Now he's gonna go for a modder. Okay. Our munitions point is being neutralized by the enemy. A strike? What are they striking with? Just smoke. Yeah. Just smoke. What are they gonna do? Chuck him to death? Yeah, yeah, mother dry. Extra armor for a tank when nearby this thing. Oh man, the Sherman. At least it's getting uh, getting worked up to that one. Then slap some high explosive rounds on it and uh, comes. Uh, much better. Oh, 
Yeah, there we go. Bit one. High explosive rounds or white phosphorus. Ready to be shelled out. Mm hmm. Spots them there thanks to the uh, vehicle detection. And a little bit of forward reinforcement to slash healing. Well, so much for that. The captain came and ruined it all, didn't he? Double matter. The AT gun sits far back. Another Sherman is being built, yes. That one engineers they can use their uh, superior field engineering here to help with the repairs. Spots the enemy closing in. He really needs to take care of the Sherman. There we go. The other one seconds away from being done. Meanwhile, trying to stop the bleeding, and there we are. Second Sherman is here. He can pop. A heavy machine gunner in it if he wants to or if he's gonna be more risky with it then don't bother invest into the heavy machine gun something needs to be done it's over here help us near then again double d is launching an attack on this vp as well No damage didn't really get a good hit neither did the matter but there they are these men only three of them left might be able to throw a grenade okay since them retreating captain is coming over to help out there's the grenade tick tock tick tock boom good damage but the pathfinders here they are gonna be defeated by double tons of grins or maybe there is and there's only one squad now the other one is there right sending the middle another day another matter really needs to stop this couldn't quite do it and there they are at the DAC anti-tank loiter skill ahoy still in the circle he's gonna get another straight at least another one maybe two Yeah, strafing both Shermans by the look of it. And yeah, this thing here is still marked. gonna get and yeah, that's just smoke no that was nothing what no it's paratroopers and yeah the panzer 4 command tank is just gonna guard this point there we go the grenade is up the gg has been called as fortune throws in the towel yeah usf may be a uh, strong faction but if you don't go riflemen then you're missing out quite a lot of their um, firepower anyway leave a like if you liked it dislike it if you disliked it consider subscribing for more and i'll be back with more tomorrow bye